Hi, I'm Andy from Gellert, and we're in the showroom today to show you how to pitch and pack the Ottawa range of tents. The first thing you'll need to do for setting up this tent is open the bag and take out all of the contents. It's worth taking some time to check you've got everything you need before you start pitching the tent. Inside the bag you'll find the fly sheet, the inner tent or bedrooms, four multi-section fiberglass poles colour coded so it's easy to find where they go on the tent and one set of steel pegs. To set up your tent the first thing you'll need to do is unroll the fly sheet and then pull the fabric out to lay it in roughly the position you want the final pitch to be. Then take the colour coded poles and working methodically around the tent insert them into the coloured sleeves. On some of the multi-section poles you'll find a different coloured piece in the middle of the pole. This corresponds to the coloured tabs at the end of the sleeve and helps you get the poles in the correct position. When you're putting the poles into the tent always make sure that you push the pole as this will keep the sections together and stop it from separating inside the sleeve. Once all of the poles are in position through the sleeves the next step is to connect the ring and pin on the tent. Take the pin on the ring and pin system and simply insert into the metal end of the pole and pull back slightly so it holds in place. With one person inside the tent, if you get them to lift up the tent fabric above their head and hold it in place, you can then start to reconnect all the poles. If the poles at the back come out during this process, don't worry, you can just clip them back into place. With the two long poles in position, the tent will now roughly stand in the correct place, so you can then start on the two cross poles. To connect the tent to the poles, simply take the ring and pin system, it will be attached to the tent using an adjustable strap, put the pin into the metal end of the pole, then position the pole close to the ground sheet and pull the strap to tension. Once you've connected all the poles, you then need to connect the fly sheet to the poles using the C-clips. Once this is all done, you're ready to start pegging. The beauty of the Ottawa semi-geodesic design means that it's freestanding, so if the tent's not in the right position before you peg it, you can simply pick it up and move it. Before you peg out the tent, it's important to make sure that all of the doors are closed. This means that when the tent's fully pitched, there's not too much tension on the zips and everything will still operate smoothly. <laughs> to peg out your tent, take one steel peg for each pegging point on the tent, find the pegging loop and make sure that the fabric is tight both across the tent and between the poles. Place the peg in the loop approximately 45 degrees away from the tent then hammer it into the ground. To adjust the guy line simply take the runner in one hand, hold the guy line furthest from the tent in the other and slide the runner towards the tent. This will make the guy line longer. Once it's pegged into place again hold the runner, take the centre cord and slide the runner away from the tent to tension. With the guy lines and tent pegged in place and the bedrooms attached, your Ottawa is ready to use. To pack away your Ottawa tent, begin by unpegging all of the points on the fly sheet and all the guy lines. Again, these can be tied up, but it's not essential to do that. The next stage is to remove the inner tent, which is folded up here, and to make sure that the front door of the tent's open as this will help with packing the tent down. Then begin by undoing the clips on the poles and removing the pins from the end of the pole. Then repeat this throughout the tent. Once you've unclipped all the poles, simply push them back through the sleeves. Always make sure that you push the pole through the sleeve to stop it getting caught and to stop the segments from separating. So once all the poles are removed from the tent, make sure that the fly sheet's nice and square on the floor tuck any loose fabric over the top and then start to fold it. To begin with take two corners and fold the tent in half. Then fold the tent in half again. At this point make sure it's all as neat as possible and as much air squeezed out as you can get. Once you've got the tent folded, first of all take your folded inner tent and place on top of the tent, then all of the poles in the bag 
and place on the top as well. When you're doing this, make sure you start at the back of the tent and roll towards the open door as this will get the air out of the tent. Once you've rolled the tent, simply take the two straps provided, tie around the tent to secure it, and it's ready to put back in the bag.